I'm flying a plane right now. I'm actually flying a plane right now. It's like hitting me that I'm flying a plane. <laughs> wow. Welcome to this episode of Taking Off. We're going to be doing a discovery flight with a big time YouTuber, Stacey King. King. First time flying. <laughs> okay, so she's going to send me to 3 1. All right. So we've gotten our weather. The altimeter is set, the flight plan, we're just going to fly around uh, to the north and west, park and break off, and we're ready to taxi. Okay, so what I want you to do, on an airplane, now make sure you can scoot up and touch the rudder, rudders, those pedals down there, with your feet. It's just like a car, an old car. It's got the bar there. There you go. Now can you reach those? Okay, so this is our gas, this is our throttle. Okay, this is not a steering wheel. Your feet are the steering wheel, so I want you to keep your feet there and follow my movements, all right? Austin Executive Ground, Centurion 4620, Yankee has Alpha. We're at Henriksen, ready to taxi. Centurion 4620, Yankee, Executive Ground, runway 31, taxi via Alpha. Say direction of flight on departure. 31 via Alpha. We'll be heading northwest, uh, and then we'll be returning. Centurion 23, Yankee, rather. Okay, now watch what I do. So I could turn that way, but that's not gonna do us any good. I push that rudder in, you that feel rudder, that? Okay, I got it. Okay, and I'm gonna keep my hand on the throttle, always hand on the throttle. Okay, we make sure we're looking everywhere. Okay, now what I want you to do is, I want you to put your feet on the pedals, all right? Now, you feel the top, Feel the very top of the pedal. Tower helicopter three, Charlie, Charlie, two miles. Oh, okay. Those are brakes. Just feel that? Okay, though, and you have to push them both at the same time because they're differential, like a tank. So if I were to just push one, we're going to turn. You feel that? Yeah, put your mic, you have to almost eat the microphone. Okay. There we go. Oh, now I can hear myself. Yeah. Everybody, you have to almost eat the microphone to hear it. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to put your right hand on the throttle. Uh -huh. And go ahead and just very carefully push it in a little bit, and now pull it back out. I just want you to get a good feel for it. Okay. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to s turn right and put us on the yellow center line. Okay. You see that? You feel that? All right. Good. Now, we're going to follow the yellow line, and we're going to turn right. Uh, we're going a little fast. All right. Then let's... Pull, make sure you got your throttle out, all the way back. Okay. Okay, there you go. All right, now get ready for a big right turn. Okay. That's now one seven echo runway three one clear for takeoff right turn. Okay, so now you've got a little bit of the steering, right? Yeah. And and you can see now why we always have our hand on the throttle, we have our feet on the brakes and the, uh -huh. the everything. And now we're just tax. This is called taxiing. Okay, so, Steezy, you and your crew were doing a discovery flight. And that's usually the first thing um, somebody interested in aviation is going to do. You can call up a local airport at a local school, and you can ask them, hey, can I do a discovery flight? It costs a little bit of money. It's not too bad. And you can go up and do, uh, you know, fly like this, right? And uh, it's a good way to see if, if, if aviation is going to be a thing for you or not. Um, so a lot of people, we highly encourage everybody to do discovery flights. So I'll be flying from the right seat. Steezy, we're going to give you s some opportunity at the uh, controls. You'll get to fly the plane some. All right, and I want you to shadow the controls. So um, you'll have your feet just resting slightly on, on the control surfaces, right? Uh -huh. And you'll, okay. you can see what I do, right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is what we call a run-up. And that is, we're going to check and make sure this engine is working perfectly. All right, so we're going to get over here a little out of the way, and we're going to do our run-up. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got a checklist for the run-up, and I'm going to go up to 1,700 RPM. Okay, that's close enough. I'm actually going to normalize that. I'm going to check and see how much a mag drop I have. Each cylinder gets two spark plugs.
there's a lot of redundancy in an airplane. So we got two spark plugs simply for redundancy to make sure it's all working right. And I'm checking both sets of spark plugs. Okay, you can close that now. There's a plane to the left. Yeah, I know. That's okay. He knows. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So now, is everybody ready? I think so. Okay, before yeah. takeoff, we're not going to use autopilot. We're going to trim set. That's good. Flaps to 10. Flight controls are free and correct. What I'm going to do is make sure... And again, just to brief you again, all these controls are active. November so, 17, Echo. So if at any point I say, don't, you know, let go, you let go. Advisory 17 Echo, you have a good afternoon. We'll see you in a while. You too, sir. Transponder, we're going to go to VFR. Our lights, okay. And we're going to go up to 3000. Okay. All right, that's all set. One other thing I want to tell you is that if I'm, I'm going to let you fly, I'll say, you have the controls. At which point, you'll be on the controls, and when you have them, you'll repeat back, I have the controls. And I'll do a third verification, you've got the controls. It's called a three-step verification. That way, we know who's flying the plane. Okay, okay so that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. All right, if you ever need to talk to them, it's this button right there on the trigger. No, no, on the front, that one. Talk okay. to who? Them. Anybody. Oh, but I don't know how to talk yeah, to Yeah, but in an emergency. Okay. Okay. All right. Austin Executive Tower, Centurion 4620, Yankees ready at 31 uh, for our northwest departure. Centurion 4620, Yankee Executive Tower, runway 31, clear for takeoff, proceed on course. Clear for takeoff, runway 31, 20, Yankee. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going to check, make sure nobody's coming, even though she's watching too. Never hurts to, to double check. Okay, everything's lights, camera, and action. Good. God dang it. Okay, here we go. All right. Shadow me on the controls, all right? You're going to feel power, all right? Okay. Here we go. Oh. Whoa. Oh, no. Okay, airspeed's alive. Everything looks good. Engine's good. Everything's in the green. We're almost at rotate. There's rotate. Look at that. We're off the ground now. Oh, and we're off the ground. No. Now we're going to pull the gear up. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my this is God, so dude. Sketchy. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> no, okay, flaps no, coming up. No, dude. I don't like this. There we go. Our speed's good. By shadow, you meant I watch what you do? Well, I meant like put your, lay your feet on the controls, lay your hands on the controls, okay. and that way you kind of feel what I'm doing. So we're going to turn now up over the highway. This is crazy. Don't be alarmed. I'm going to pull the airspeed out. Okay. And then I'm going to drop my RPMs back a little bit, but it'll feel like, hey, you're stopping the engine. But I'm not. You <laughs> If I didn't say anything to you, you could go, oh my gosh! <laughs> but, you know, in a discovery flight, we're not trying to scare you off of aviation. All right? Uh-huh. Okay, so here we are. Now, we're climbing at about 400 feet a minute. We are not allowed to fly into the clouds. Okay. Okay, that's a no-no in the way we're flying right now. So, how's it feel? Amazing. Scary, but amazing. Okay, so how does Austin look? Pretty Amazing. Beautiful. Wow. This is so breathtaking. Okay. So now what I want you to do is you fly the plane right now. Okay? Oh, oh my god. Hold okay. on a second. Centurion 23 Yankee. I'm gonna fly the plane. This is crazy. Okay. When you talk to them, can they hear me or only no. you? Oh, okay. okay. Okay, so now, I'm going to turn them down now. Okay, we're still climbing. Now, all you need is just a little light pressure. Okay, you don't need the death grip uh, okay. yoke. And what we're going to do is we're going to level out at 3,000. And when we do, that tells me we're getting close. Okay, so now we're going to push down 
We're at 3,000 feet. Okay. Sorry, that was a little aggressive. Yeah, you're right. Now, one thing I need to tell everybody is keep looking out for airplanes. Other traffic will be black dots. Okay. We don't want to run into anybody. So now what I'm yeah, going to do, do I'm going to bring the engine way back. So don't panic. But we don't need to go really fast. Okay. How fast are we going right now? Right now we're going, 127 well, knots. 126 knots, so about 130, 132 miles an hour. Okay, we're almost to Tyler. Or, uh, Taylor, I'm sorry. We're almost to Taylor. Okay, so let's stay here at 3,000. Now, I want you to take the controls. Okay. And make sure your feet on the rudders. This is like They're this. On the rudders. Okay, so you have the controls. I've got the controls. Your airplane. Okay, now you, it's all you. I don't have anything, right? This is crazy. I'm flying a plane. Oh my God, I can tell. Yeah, uh, yeah I try to keep it at 3,000. Okay. And the, the way you do it is you yeah, pull, pull, pull back pull to see up. the sky, yeah. pull forward, forward to see to the houses. Oh okay. my God, God, crazy, bro. Stop it. Okay, so let's do a turn to the right. Okay. So go ahead and, and just slightly turn. Like this. There you go. That's oh a full bank angle right there. God. Now we're going up a little high, so let's yeah, push down a little push bit. Down. So let's keep pushing down. You're still climbing. You're What's still that? climbing. It oh. means you're way up now. So, um, <laughs> you, you see, you, you're at thir 30. Did I pull up or? No, down? you need to push down. Push, push down, down to go down. I feel like we're going down pretty fast. No, we're not. It, and the thing about flying is that you get used to sight pictures. Uh-huh. Whoa, what was that sound? Dude, no. <laughs> Dude, like, I'm flying okay, a so plane. So now fly this way. Oh, okay. But still get us down to 3,000. Okay. Whoa. That's oh, just yeah. turbulence, and that's turbulence. okay. Turbulence, okay. Now, we, whenever we turn, we look out and make sure that we don't see any other airplanes. Okay, now you're going down pretty steep. Now yeah. pull back a little bit. Okay. Like that. Just really gentle controls. You see? Yeah, you're doing it. Wow. I'm flying a plane right now. I'm actually flying a plane right now. It's like hitting me that I'm flying a plane. Dude, this wow. Is, my hands are so sweaty. Dude, my <laughs> hands are, I bet my weird. hands are way more sweaty than your hands. Yeah. I'm scared of heights. Yeah, you know what? A lot of people say they're scared of heights, but in an airplane, it's different. Okay, so let's level out and go straight that way. Yeah, because you're sitting down. You're not actually high. I think. Uh, this, okay, that didn't make sense. Dude. <laughs> well, you kind of got control, whereas, you know. Yeah. It's called flying a plane? Oh, yeah, flying a plane. Now, there are lots of planes out there right now. There's quite a few just right over there. We need to make sure we're always looking for traffic. Okay. You know, the engine goes out, I like our chances for survival. I'll glide us down to a landing in a field. Okay. okay. If we hit another plane in the air, we're probably dead. I mean, there's no, there's 99%. I mean, everyone's time comes sometimes. Yeah. But um, the bigger threat isn't the engine going out. The bigger threat is other traffic out there. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, because the engine goes out. We now, still you're a little wing. low. Okay. That beep was telling you you've gone outside the... The target of 3,000. Okay. So the first thing we teach you when when you become a pilot is straight and level flight. I'm not going to get into trim and all that stuff at this point. Straight level flight? Straight and level flight. So like you, you've been going up and down. Okay. So, I so let's, I want you to get 3, up. I want you to get up to 3,000 and then maintain 3,000. Would I be going up a little bit faster? Or no, just no. Good? Just, okay. yeah. We don't need to Dennis. to start okay. to start to anticipate that you, you're almost there. Uh, there, you're getting close. Nope. Now you're going down a little bit. Yeah. Now, but also you got to look outside. Once once we get into straight and level flight, you'll get used to what we call a sight picture of how far the nose is from the horizon. Uh -huh. If that makes sense. All right. So let's. Um, good. And now we are at three thousand. Now we're at 3,000. We're so high. Now don't, yeah, and so I want you to maintain 3,000. Okay. 
Okay. Because the idea, look, so like right now we're at 2,900, right? Uh-huh. So if I were to let go, look, nobody. It's so, a Tesla. So it's, you trim, you make small uh -huh. adjustments in the plane so that you're not having to do a lot of work. Yeah. And that's what trim does. So um, I want you to take controls again. You have... Uh, my airplane. Uh, I have controls. You have the controls. Okay, now we've got a plane in front of us. So what I'd like to do is let's go ahead and go left and climb the 3,000. Left turn, heading uh, 360. I want you to go 360. To 360. Heading 360. Now, you, you're already high enough now. Push okay. down. There you go. So you're, you're doing multiple stuff here. That way we stay away from this plane that's coming in over here. Yeah. You're doing all right. Now you're past 360, so let's level out. And we'll fly, um, in a minute, we'll fly over the lake and stuff. Okay, you're doing good. Wow. So aviation's very cool. Yeah, it is. And can you, what, you know, what if you were going to, you know, what if you and your buddies wanted to go for lunch at Galveston? You could do it. Just fly there. Just fly there. Get an Uber or a courtesy car or something, and um, or eat on the field at the restaurant that may or may not be there. And, um, it's a lot of fun. So, welcome to aviation. Do you think soon Uber is going to have Uber planes? Oh yeah, they're already. The problem is the aerospace and the FAA and the rules and everything else. Now, here's another new lesson, okay? Okay. We um, we always do, uh, one of the first lessons is slow flight. So right now we're going, you know, 110 over the ground. And when you're landing, you're going to be 90 or 80 or even 70. So one of the things you do is you do slow flight. In other words, you're gearing up for landing. So what I want you to do is, we're okay on the throttle right now. 21 is fine. I want you to go ahead and drop the gear. This is the gear level, lever. You're gonna pull it out and drop it down. Okay. Pull it out and drop uh -huh. it down. Dennis, We're slow enough, this? so go ahead. Dennis, you getting this? Yeah. Okay, so pull it out towards you and then drop it down. Here comes the gear. And if you look outside, guys, you'll see oh, the gear you can is see dropping. The, oh my God. You look, for you, if you're the only pilot, you look out at your mirror. And mirror. You can oh, see that mirror two, that's on the radar thing? Yeah, you can see two, two, uh, two gear, right? You know what, to climb, let's go ahead and pull the gear up. Okay. So now you've got, so pull it out, you know, away, and then up. There you go, and now the gear is going up. All right, now you know how to do gear. Okay. Okay, so you're going to pull the throttle out because you're getting ready to land, right? So we're going to pull the throttle out, but notice our speed's still doing good. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is put your hand on the throttle because in critical phases of flight, your hands are always on the throttle. Okay, Alright, so, so now what I want you to do for slow flight is I want you to pull that throttle out. Pull it out. A little bit, and then I want you to go first degree of flaps. So first what you're going to do flaps. is you're going to lower this to 10 degrees. Okay? There you go. That's it. Now the nose is going to come up a little bit. I, uh, and you're going to push down a little bit. Okay? Now what I want you to do, let me look around, make sure traffic's okay. Okay, what I want you to do now is slow it down even more. Because we come in and land at 70 over the numbers. Uh -huh. And you need the flaps to help you more up. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, yeah. That, was, that was a bad definition, but yeah, basically. Yeah, I can get into it. But go ahead and keep the hand on throttle. Because remember, we're coming in the land. Oh, yeah. Light. Okay, so hand's always on throttle. Yeah, so pull out more. What'd you do? I don't know. What'd you do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you, no, seriously, what'd you do? I don't know. I Did just you hit it. something with your knee? No, I didn't. I just pulled this out a little bit. Yo, what'd you do? It's easy, what the fuck? Nothing. I, I pulled this out. I was pulling the... What does that sound? Okay, it's just a gear horn. Oh my god. Wow. So, Steezy got punked. He, he pranked me. He pranked me. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I would thought you would panic more, but you didn't. No, no, no. I, I tried to stay calm because, like, pilots got to stay calm. I saw that in a movie. <laughs> All right. Okay, very good. I just wanted to give you some fun there. Yeah, so, definitely. Um, all right, so now wow. we're, we're back. My heart's line. pumping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so I'm going to clean us up. I'm going to go ahead and, and retract uh, our flaps, pull them up. I'm going to retract our gear. 
make us more airworthy. And let's fly over there towards the lake at 3,000. Oh, you're going way oh, nose yeah. up. Okay. Now, if you want to start learning how to do trim yourself, as we're going here. So when you trim, when, when you that's going up. You feel this wheel? Put your yeah. right hand on the wheel. When it goes up, is You'll that trimming it. down? Yeah, you're putting the nose down. Okay. So try it. More. So you can see what it's doing. Yeah, feel I feel it. it. I feel okay. it. Okay. So you trim it to where you don't have to have any pressure and you can use two fingers on the yoke. Yeah. So. Now you're a quick learner. I got to trim this down or up or whatever that is. There we go. Oh, now it's like not even pressured that much. Okay, let's head that way. I don't want, there's too many planes over here. Okay. So you're climbing a little bit. That's the thing about an airplane, a lot of things going on. Yeah. You're flying, dude. Oh, what's that movie called? Whenever he's uh, he flies the plane upside down? Uh, flight. Flight, there we go. That's With the Denzel. movie. When he All says right. he's gotta stay calm. Yeah. You did good. You stayed fairly calm. I was trying to get you rattled. You well, did good. Well, you succeeded. I think you're <laughs> ready to uh, to start taking flying lessons. Yeah. Okay. So um, now I'm going to just show you some things that the airplane can do now that we're almost at 3,500. So I'm going to take the controls. Okay. Your airplane. My controls. Okay. All my right. My hands are so sweaty. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, my nose one too. of the things, I, and I'm not going to do a lot of these because I don't want to make you guys sick, but one of the things that we drill at, and we're at 3,500, is um, what we what we call steep turns. Turns, okay. okay. And what i got to oh, do yeah. is in a steep turn, i got to keep it within 100 feet of 3,500, okay? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear right, make sure nobody's coming, and I'm going to bank it, right? Oh, my God. And oh. I'm going to keep looking out. I hardly look in at all. It's all about sight picture, right? Looking out the side of the window, it's like straight down. Yeah. So, and this isn't too much of a bank, but we're doing good. And so this is a steep turn. I'm going to go ahead and roll out so that I don't make you guys too sick. Because, uh, and, and we go over it, we do it again and again, back in, you know, different uh -huh. ways. So that is how you do that. So you can do a lot of cool things in an airplane. How much of G-force do you think that was? Oh, none. None? No, it was well, one. One. It was one. Um, and we are only rated at a certain amount of G-forces that we can put on this type of plane. Okay, good. All right, so now um, while we're flying, for my audience who doesn't know you, um, what's your background? How did you get into YouTube? Um, so I guess how I started was when I was eight years old, my mom bought me a camera and I just started recording stuff ever since, started a YouTube channel when I was like 14 and, uh, I would go out with my friends, we would, uh, film pranks, we would just like mess with people. How did you get into doing pranks? Why pranks? I don't know, I guess it was like, that's what was popular on YouTube. It was like what everybody watched. And me watching that as, at 14 years old, it was like, hmm, I want to do this. So, uh, and I don't know, it's just fun. Okay, so with um, with the pranks, what's the worst trouble you've ever gotten into? Uh, I, I haven't gotten in much trouble. Uh, I know people who've gotten in way more trouble, who've gotten like arrested, but that's you on have... like certain occasions. I guess the most trouble I've gotten in is like I jumped off the pier, Santa Monica Pier, for a girl's number, and the lifeguards were holding me for the cops to come to like ticket me, but the cops never came, so they just let me go. So I didn't really get in trouble. So, but, okay, so you got lucky there. Yeah, 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 I got lucky. All right, so what's one thing all your fans don't know about you? Uh, kind of tell my fans everything, but. Uh, I guess one of them could be, uh, uh, I like chicken and rice. <laughs> I eat that every day. Uh, I'm into aviation. Okay, but, uh, you're into aviation? Yeah. Your As father you tell, was into aviation? Yeah, my dad was a pilot. Oh, another thing. Uh, they, they might know this, but 
my dad also taught me how to edit. That's also a big part into like how I got into YouTube. Okay. Uh, well, I took karate cool. lessons when I was little. Yeah. All right. There's not really a big thing that they no don't know about. No big secrets that the people yeah. don't know about, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, that's kind of boring. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty open. You're pretty with, open. With my fans, I guess. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to have you fly back towards the airport. Oh, God. And, uh, um, and land us. All right. Oh, oh you, oh, okay. I was <laughs> like, what? I'm going to land? That's one of the hardest things yeah. to, to, to learn. Yeah, yeah. So, Steezy flies an airplane. Is that the name of the episode? Uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> I got to fly, I got to fly an airplane. I got to fly an airplane. I didn't even know, this morning. We did this right now. Before I even came to the airport, I didn't even know I was going to fly. I thought I was just going to be a passenger. Oh, no. And as soon as, as soon as, like, we meet, you're like, yeah, you're flying the airplane. I'm like, what? I'm flying? That's crazy. And you're doing a great job. This is what you do if uh, you're lesson one. This is what it would be like. It'd be a smaller airplane, by the way. You wouldn't have oh, wow. landing gear. You'd have permanent oh, gear. Oh, permanent gear. Yeah. Huh. How are you guys feeling back there? Anybody sick yet? No. You want me to make you sick? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do barrel rolls? <laughs> oh, great. We're not allowed to do that in this plane, but... <laughs> One of the things we do in the early lessons is a stall. We actually stall the airplane on purpose. on purpose so you can feel it and then know how to recover because that's the most dangerous thing coming into land or even taking off. Are we allowed to do that Let's in this plane? Let's go straight this way now. Oh, yeah. Think we could do that? Yeah, we're high enough. All right. So we're going to stall. and I want you to... I've got the controls. Okay. Your airplane. My airplane. And what I want stall. you to do is I want you to go ahead and hold the controls, okay. right? Okay. Then the so this is slow flight, like we're coming into land, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pull out. We're slow enough. I'm going to drop gear. Because that's what I would do as I'm coming into land, right? Yeah. So I'm going to drop gear, and I'm going to trim up a little bit, and I'm going to put first notch of flaps in, and I'm going to pull my power back. I know this so well. Oh, my God. We're going to stall. This is crazy. Okay, so here we are. We've got to make sure we're high enough, which we are. Now, we're going to put in our next degree of flaps. Okay, we're at 70. Now, we're a little slow. I'm going to try to maintain altitude. I'm going to come in with last notch of flaps, okay? So, here we go. So, we're coming in to land, and I get distracted, right? The pilot gets distracted, and you're going, oh, look, uh, something's out there, you know. A butterfly. You're not, yeah, you're not paying attention. Look, we're already at 58 knots. My, that's my and published. At what, at what speed do you start stalling? 58. 58. So, now what's going to happen? You can listen. Okay. There it is. That's our star horn. First up, oh. you full power and you nose over. Because that's uh -huh. how you get speed. Once you once you got positive on your rate, then you can start cleaning up. First thing we're going to do is come up with one degree of flaps. Because you go too fast it's and gonna... you can double stall, restall it. Okay. Then once we're good, we're going to go gear up, watch our airspeed, watch our airspeed, and we are climbing positive now. And I'm going to put some more trim in it. I'm going to bring up the next notch of flaps. You'll feel the pressure release a little bit. And then the last degree of flaps. And that's how we recover from a stall. And when you learn to fly, that's what your instructor is going to do. They'll do it just like I did, and then it'll say, then it'll say, it's your turn. And you'll go and do it. Wow. But anyway, so that's that's how that's done. <laughs> oh, sheep! Whoa. It's just a little turbulence. Wow, it's a lot of turbulence. Whoa. Just out of nowhere, too. <laughs> yeah. Usually it's because you're flying over something. Whoa. Okay. See the airport yet? Uh, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I do not. Oh, I see it. Airport in sight. Anybody coming out the left? All right. I'm going to go ahead and drop gear because we're about to turn final. 
I've got two out here and a green light. Do you see your wheel? Yeah, yeah I okay. see it. Gear has been verified, and we're at pattern altitude. Executive Tower, 2 0 Yankee, 4 mile Dennis. final. Centurion 2 0 Yankee, runway 31, clear to land. Clear to land, 31, 2 0 Yankee. There it is, you see it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go my first notch of flaps. The nose will come up. I'm going to pull out my speed a little bit, trim down. Okay, we've got a little bit of a crosswind, that's what's going on here. Oh! Okay. How was crazy. it? Wow. Dude. Oh my god. I'm sweating so much. Well, you're wearing so a nervous. jacket and it's hot. Well, yeah. You can I don't pop the window if you I want I don't think to. the jacket is doing anything. It's because I'm nervous. So do, you, oh my do god. you think that aviation is something you would want to um, pursue? I, I think so, yeah. For sure. So... Like, if, if you did, and for those watching, if you did, so next steps would be to find an instructor or a school at the local airport, and uh, they'll, they'll get you started. It's that easy. Wow. Yeah, flying is so much fun. That was crazy. Yeah. It is a lot of fun. It was it was crazy that I, I knew so much stuff already. Like, when you said trim, like, when I play fly simulators, oh, right, right, I, I right. trim on the fly simulators, right, too. Right, right, right. You, yeah, you... You learned, you picked up trim really quick. Yeah, like I thought you were going to say a bunch of stuff that I don't know, but no, I, I was surprised by how much flying. I already knew. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Steezy, Kane, you did great. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad you could fly along. And for those out there watching, thank you for coming and flying along with us. And we'll see you next time on Taking Off. Thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, you bet.